I got the guitar back. And they, they completely screwed up. This is a sad video. It might turn out good, I don't know. But this video is about, about this, this guitar. This is my Parker Nightfly Sunburst. I was playing it it's just a second ago and although the neck still feels amazing and it brings back all these memories that I'm gonna get into, uh, well, this guitar has some problems. Before I talk about the problems, let's, uh, let's go back about 20 years ago a little more than that, late 90s. Late 90s, I decided that I was really going to make guitar a big part of my life. I had been playing for three years at that time, and I decided to make a commitment to buy a real nice instrument, and this is the instrument that I chose. So in the late 90s, young David Wallerman, born and raised in South France, decided to go to the United States of America to find a job and buy a nice guitar. Kind of a summer job, so I worked all summer in the States. Why in the States, you might ask? Well, my mother's American, so I moved with my grandmother who lived in Rochester, New York, and um, decided to work in a grocery store to afford a really nice guitar because guitars were cheaper in the US. Now, I didn't know that I was gonna end up with a Parker guitar. I didn't even know about Parker. So I tried a lot of different guitars. Finally, I went into this uh, store, House of Guitars in Rochester, New York, and found this weird looking instrument. I tried it and I fell in love. I gigged with this, I, I learned with this. I, it was my main guitar. I loved it for years and years and years, all the way up to about uh, 10, Eight years ago, this was still my main guitar. You saw this on the early videos on the channel, the Parker Nightfly, this was it, until something happened. The piezo, 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 you know, the, the pickups in the guitar that make it sound acoustic broke. Changed them myself, did a horrible job, couldn't do it. Brought the guitar to a luthier, tried to fix it, made things worse, and then I tried to modify this, add MIDI to the guitar. All these things led to this sitting right here. And every day when I come into the studio, I see the guitar sitting on the rack, and I have all these memories from this guitar, which was really my main instrument for years and, and still very close to my heart. First of all, when I put the volume up, major ground issues. I touch this. It's gone. Some pickups are out of phase. Here's my bridge pickup. Middle pickup. Neck. But the in-between positions. There's a major um, volume loss. And then that ground makes it just horrible to play with. That thing dropped. That's another little issue. Not a big problem, but this thing just dropped. Now, um, I had this done, so there are two. <laughs> Uh, separate outputs here. Just remove this, plug it here, and now the piezo is active. There's a battery compartment in the back. I just put a battery in, can you hear that? Another major ground issue here. I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm gonna get electrocuted. The piezo work, but um, yeah, ground issues everywhere. Here's another thing. This right here has been replaced, and underneath, if I remove that, I, it, it's a mess. I think it's a mess. I can feel like when I touch this, it kind of bounces, <laughs> it kind of like curves a little bit. The only good thing about this, in my opinion, is the neck. The neck still feels great, but all of this, the ground issues, the noise, the mess that is inside creating this to kind of like bump out of the guitar, making it kind of bouncy and plastic feeling. It just doesn't feel good. Also the plates here, they're not the same. They're different. It just doesn't look good in my opinion. I don't know, I'm just really discouraged. The back had to be um, re redone, recut by Luthier. Kind of looks like a coffin and I don't do coffins. And yet with all of that, I still love the guitar. Why am I making this video? Well, I'm making this video because about a month ago, I had a very interesting conversation with Nat from, from Sweetwater, Sweetwater Music. We talked about their repair department 
And Nat said, I think they can help you with this guitar. Granted, Nat has not seen the guitar. The repair team has not seen the guitar. I don't know if they can really help, but I have faith. I have faith because I don't know if you've seen that video. It came out, I want to say a year ago, maybe a little less, but Dweezil Zappa had this, uh, this guitar that was really close to, to his heart. And I think the neck broke on that guitar. I'll, I'll link to it at some point and send it to Sweetwater. And they did an incredible job. I followed the journey and the videos and it was pretty spectacular. So I thought, hey Nat, do you think they can, they can do the same with this? Now, I don't know if this is going anywhere, but I'm still gonna give it a shot. This, as I said, is so close to my heart that I can't let go. I'm gonna send this to Sweetwater, I'm gonna let them do what they do, and we'll see. If they do anything worth filming, I will show you. This might be the end of the video, maybe not. I'm gonna give it some time, we'll see what happens. All right, Sweetwater, I hope you're ready because here comes the fly. Hi guys, I'm Doug Mantock. I'm a luthier here in our Sweetwater Guitar Shop. What we have today is David Wellerman's Parker Nightfly guitar. It wasn't ringing for him like it used to. He used to love it, he kind of fell out of love, and he's kind of upset about it. I had it out, I was looking at it. We actually had some phase issues here, so it was a little weird in our position two and position four. Normally I would just switch the phase on the middle pickup, but in this case he's using coil splits, and I wanted him to still uh, phase cancel. So we actually switched the the phase of the outer two pickups, which I normally wouldn't do. On top of that, he had a little bit of a, a bad switch. Got a new one thrown in there. And just for fun, I added a seven position switch in our volume position. He, there wasn't anything already there. What, what this is letting us do is add the bridge and the neck together in positions four and five on his switch. And we finished it up. I got it reset up to David's spec. Hopefully he loves it now. So here we are about nine months after. Not Sweetwater's fault at all. Here's what happened. After sending the Parker to Sweetwater, the coronavirus hit, and that delayed a lot of things. Not on Sweetwater's part, they've always been on top of things, but they were waiting for the right parts to fix the guitar, and that's where the, the holdup was. But long story short, a few days ago, I, I got the guitar back, and they, they completely screwed up. I asked for skim milk, this is regular. Uh, the guitar is awesome though. First of all, the pick guard has been fixed. I no longer have this, you know, this bump. This is solid. This feels like a real guitar, not a, like a plastic toy anymore. So they completely changed this. Um, there's, they, they cleaned up the inside. There was a lot of uh, cables and, and modifications that I've done through the year. This feels like the original one. This, however, is not original at all. Here's what I have. To understand what's going on here, you need to look at the side here. This guitar now has two separate quarter inch inputs. One of them is for the magnetic electric pickups. The other one is for the piezo. See, back in the day, the guitar only had one quarter inch output. And in order to use the magnetic pickups or the, the piezo, 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 I, I don't know. <laughs> but in order to use them, it came with a special Y cable and I had to use the right output of the cable uh, here, which would recognize if I was in, in piezo mode or magnetic mode. Anyways, all that is gone, which means that now I can also uh, plug this guitar into two separate outputs. One of them going into maybe, uh, uh, an acoustic amp with its own effects and then the other one for the electric pickup so that I can blend both signals together. Let me show you what we have. I'm in magnetic mode right now, which means that I'm plugged into the magnetic pickup output here. This is my volume. This is my tone. I still have my five-way switch here. First thing to notice is no more grounding issues. That's awesome, but that's not it. The volume is a push-pull, and this is a mod that they installed, allowing me to run both of the neck, the, the neck and the bridge at the same time. It gives it this, I've never had a mod like this, but it gives it this, this 
fender y kind of tone. Um, I, I really like it a lot. Uh, the next thing that they did is in the, the tone here, I can split the coils. So right now I have one, uh, the humbucker here in the bridge. I can split that by lifting the tone. So I've got a lot of different options here. I also added this button right here, which is a kill switch. Let's now hear this guitar in piezo mode. This is the volume knob for the, the piezo. And it's also a pull switch. If I pull this knob, I have an additional boost that is engaged. Sweetwater, if you're watching this from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for restoring this guitar. This has been the guitar that I've had for the longest time. I bought this in 96, new. So it's almost a 25 year old guitar and you have exceeded my expectations. Not only does this play like the first day, but it's, I think it's enhanced. You, you've done some amazing You've had some amazing suggestions as far as the electronics, and I'm, I'm so pleased. If those of you watching here uh, are in need of uh, uh, repair for an instrument that is really close to your heart, you should definitely check out Sweetwater. I've tried many different luthiers in my life as a musician, and by far, Sweetwater has completely exceeded my expectations. Their suggestions for the electronics, the care that they took with the guitar has been has been in parallel, so I highly recommend them. I'm gonna leave some info below. Thank you again for restoring this. Thanks for watching this video. And if you wanna watch a few videos where I'm using this guitar before it was fixed by Sweetwater, well, here it is. Thanks for watching, I'll meet you right there. Thank you, Sweetwater, practice well. Here it is. <laughs>